What if I don't buy a house ever? This might seem like a radical statement, but many young professionals have found themselves priced out of the traditional home ownership model. So, what are our options? Co-living is a concept springing up in cities around the world. Hoping to change our ideas of home ownership the way co-working disrupted the idea of office space, co-living facilities offer luxury, style, companionship, and mobility in exchange for traditional ownership. Forgoing long commutes to live in the city centre is a major draw for young professionals. But it's not just hotel-like facilities that are a solution. Hong Kong has the least affordable housing market in the world. Here, O-pod tubes might be the answer. These micro-homes made from concrete pipes slot into the unused gaps between buildings. At less than 350 euros a month, compared to the average rent for a one-bedroom apartment of 1,700 euros, these tubes are hugely affordable. Because they are designed to be stacked, they have the potential to create multiple starter homes in the places where people want to live and within walking distance of public transportation. Most alternative home projects are within 10 minutes of transport. This drastically cuts down on commuting time and carbon footprint. Additionally, most tiny homes also reduce energy consumption and waste, which has been a huge draw for today's more environmentally conscious professional. In Nairobi, where 84% of the population rent, discarded shipping containers are being recycled into micro-homes that are attractive, fast to make, and will last for decades. The cost of these micro-homes are about a quarter of what it would cost to erect the same size building in concrete, and vastly decreases the amount of carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere. Is there a total rethink of the way we live that fits in with new attitudes towards wealth and ownership. Regardless, it might not be so easy to make that shift. Tiny homes, like mobile homes or houseboats, can be viewed by banks as impermanent structures, making financing problematic. One company has managed to get residential permits for the first 3D printed home in America. These 350 square foot houses cost under 10,000 euros, take 48 hours to build, and are permanent structures. Whilst currently only permitted for the US, the plan is to replicate the technology to provide safe homes for some of the 1.3 billion people around the world who live in slums. So the big question for micro-homes and co-living isn't can it work, but can it scale? The United Nations now offers support to co-living initiatives within their sustainable development goals and international brands like Mini and WeWork have micro and co-living communities in the works. Meanwhile, Japanese lifestyle brand Muji recently unveiled the Muji Hut, a factory-made minimalist micro-house for design aficionados. On sale for around 30,000 euros, the one-room huts are designed to be vacation or weekend homes for city dwellers. Whether a temporary fad or the new way we live, the benefits of shared or tiny living are exponential, cutting down on our energy use, carbon emissions and waste, and providing a housing option for new generations across the globe. <laughs>